and welcome to another episode. In today's tutorial, I am going to be teaching every single one of you how to format your HTML file, how you can format your paragraphs, how you can format your headers and much more here. Okay. But first, remember to subscribe to my channel every day. I'm uploading a new tutorial for HTML. So that way you guys can learn on daily basis. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, everybody. So in yesterday's video, we were taking a look into how to add an image and how to add a hyperlink into our websites. So in today's tutorial, I want to talk about a little bit in how you can format the content that you are going to have into a paragraph or into a heading. So we're going to use W3 school, same as yesterday, and we're going to go into the formatting HTML formatting. Um, section here. Okay. So what is formatting is giving format to specific text into your paragraph or into a heading. Okay. So let, let's go ahead and let's take a look at a couple of examples. Here we have, um, the formatting elements. We have B, which is used to bold the text. We have strong, which is used for important text. It's also kind of similar, like bold text, just so you know. Then we have an I, which is italic text. Then we have EM, emphasized text, mark, small, del, in, sub, sup. So we have different type of formatting elements here. Let's go ahead and take a look into how you can use them into your paragraph. So let's go ahead and open Visual Studio Code here. And we are going to make sure that we open the web page that we created yesterday with the image. And we're going to be giving a couple of formatting to this two paragraph that we have created before. So let's go ahead and test first the first element, which is the B. Um, element. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and let's put some text in bold here to do that. Let's go ahead and work with the last two paragraphs, as I said before. So let's say that we want to bold this portion of our paragraph. So what you have to do, it's very easy. You're just going to use the B element and you're going to close the B element right after the section that you want it to be bold. So in this case, I am putting in bold the first sentence here. Okay. So let me just go ahead and save this and let me show you what does this do into the paragraph right now, as you can see, the section is just normal, like the rest of the text in here. So let's just go ahead and let's hit refresh. There you go. So you see now this is in bold. Okay. So let's take a look at the second type of formatting. Okay. Here we put in bold this entire sentence. Now, if you just want to put in bold one word, just make sure to put the B tag before. Let's say that we want to put um, this word E L I T in bold. So all you have to do is put the B element right before the elite word and I am going to delete the closing tag and I'll put it after the elite um, word. Okay. So when I do that right now, um, elite is, is not bold, but when I do this and I save this, then I refresh and now it's in bold as you can see there. Okay. So that's how you can apply different type of formatting into your paragraph. So let's go ahead and let's do a couple more. We have here another one, which is called strong, which reflects important text. So let's go ahead and use that one and let's see what does this do. So let's use strong here and I'm going to close this portion of the text into strong. So let's save it and let's see what does this do to this part. Okay. So let's hit refresh. There you go. It's a bold text as well. See, told you B and strong are the same. Okay. Let's see another one. Okay. We have the I, so let's try this one out. I want to go ahead and use the I for this portion right here. 
Okay, let's do all this part with the eye. Let's save it. And then watch what's going to happen here. This is going to be this portion probably. So let's hit refresh. There you go. Now the text has changed into a different format. Okay. So that's what the I element does. It's an italic text. Okay. So now let's see the EM, which is for emphasize text. Okay. Let's go back to our coding and we're going to try EM. EM. And just let's just go ahead and actually do, do those two words. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to save it. And then we're going to apply this to this portion. Okay, which is this portion right here. Okay, right now you guys can see how it is. So now let's refresh. There you go. So you see, it's a little bit similar like the previous one. Okay, so let's go ahead and find another type of format. So marked text. So let's use the mark element here. Let's use it on this portion right here. So let's just type in mark. And again, the closing tag, I will remove it from here and I'll put it there. Let's just save this and let's see what does this do to this portion of the side, which is which to this portion of the paragraph, which is this part right here. So let's hit refresh. And there you go. You see, it marks your text into yellow. It's like when you're when you're using this marker to just go ahead and actually select important notes, right? So that's how you can do it with HTML. Now let's use the small um, element and let's see what does this do? So let's, let's use the next paragraph because I've played around a lot with this one right here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use the small element. So let's go ahead and let's type in small and I'm going to use the closing tag until the end of this part right here. Let's save this and let's refresh. Let's see what is gonna happen there. Let's refresh. Okay, so the letters are small. Very simple and self-explanatory, right? <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Let's use now del, ins, sub, and sub. I'm going to use each one of these so you can see all at once what does each one of them do. So it's one, two, three, four that we are going to be using. So let's do one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have uh, four um, places where to apply this. And I'm just gonna do a line break on each one of them, like I showed you guys yesterday, how to do a line break. So that way we can see the different type of format of each one of them in different lines. Because right now the, the this paragraph is all in one line and I just want to separate each line. So I'm going to save this and now I'm going to refresh the page. There you go. So now we have one, two, three, four. Oh, um, let's go ahead and separate this as well. Okay, so there we go. So now this is the small, remember the small element. Now let's go ahead and try the rest of the elements here. Let's continue with DEL, which is deleted text. I know what it's gonna do, but let me show you, okay? So let's go ahead and type in here DEL. And remember the closing tag has to go after the content. And of course, before the BR, uh, which is the line break okay so let's just save this and let's refresh okay so see it just puts a line to delete the text it doesn't disappear the text it just simply scratch um it just simply scratches the text off okay so okay let's take a look at the other one ins which is inserted text okay so let's go ahead and use this one right here Closing tag, again, all the way to the end. Let's save this, and now let's see what is gonna happen here. Okay, there you go. So it gives an underline to the entire um, sentence right here. So these two at the end are very similar. 
Now, those are just a couple of elements that are going to give a little bit of format to your um, paragraph or to your header. You can also use this on headers. So let me show you an example. We have here four headers, H1, H2, H3, and H4. Let's try to use this on a header. Before hello world, I'm going to type in an I. Okay, so we can change this to a different type of style there, a different type of format. So let's just save this and this should change. So let's refresh. There you go. So hello world format changed and this is a header. So this is how you are going to add formats to any paragraph that you're writing or any, any header. This is what you do, but we have with CSS, different ways to do this. Whenever we take a look at CSS, you get a little bit more of a clear understanding on this. I'm just showing you um, just how to format this on HTML so that you can have the knowledge. But for formatting, for styles and those type of things, I recommend you guys to use CSS. And I'm going to be teaching you how to use CSS in our next course, not tomorrow, but once I am finished explaining HTML. Okay, everyone. So that was it for today. I hope that you practice this and you get to format a little bit and play around a little bit with W3 schools and play around with the different type of formats that are out there. If you go to W3 schools, as you can see, you probably are going to find a couple of more elements here that you can play around. So go ahead and do that. Okay. Go ahead and actually use all of those elements, try them one by one and see what does each one of them do. Now, if you have any questions, remember to leave those in the comment section. I am always checking the comments and I will be replying as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. And as always, remember that you can always ask Lixie. Bye everyone. See you again in another episode.